Hello everybody, I'm Crystal Snapdragon and this video is on character creation and customization in ArcAge and ArcAge Unchained. I love character creation, it is my favorite part of any game and I've been working really hard to catalog character creation in all the MMOs, both PC and mobile. And so since ArcAge Unchained was just released to the public the other day, I decided now would be a pretty good time to look at character creation in ArcAge. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm super excited because as you can see, they had a graphics revamp and it looks gorgeous. So, let's go ahead and see what we got. So it looks like we have two alliances, kind of like Bless Online. The, I'm gonna say these words so wrong. The Nguyen, I believe is maybe how you pronounce that. Forgive me if I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments. And Haranian Alliance. There are three races per alliance. None of them appear to be gender locked and each of them have different racial skills. So I guess we'll start with the Nguyen Alliance on the left hand side here. We have the Nguyen race and their racial skills are, they are quick builders. They have reduced construction time. So they're architects. They also have Nguyen's blessing, which is Increases strength, spirit, intelligence, stamina, and agility, plus eight for five minutes. So those are their racial skills. Here's the female. Here is the male. You're going to have to forgive me if I <laughs> might be... I'm a little short of breath, unfortunately. It's because the weather is changing. Here is the male, Nguyen. I'm probably saying that word all sorts of wrong. <laughs> all right, next we have the L. I like how they hop in. So, the elves' racial skills are Lift Flow increases swim speed and you can hold your breath underwater for 30 more seconds. That could be very helpful. I don't actually know because, <laughs> fun fact, I've never actually played Arc Age. A lot of the criticism surrounding the free to play version kind of put me off. So, this will be my first time playing Arc Age. We also have Earth Lover, which increases their maximum health of nearby allies' mounts. That is a little random, but I like it. Increases the maximum health of nearby allies' mounts. Okay. Here is the female. Nope, turn around, your back is to us. All right, there's the female elf. And last in the Nguyen Alliance, we have the Dwarf. Dwarf. I'm a little Southern. <laughs> I think that comes through sometimes, and I do apologize. I really like the Dwarf in this game. This is a really pretty, really pretty um, sort of character customization here. Summon the Juggernaut. Activates a Juggernaut form for five minutes. Only level 30 plus Dwarves can learn this skill, huh? I, that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but that's really interesting. Um, and decreases machining production time. That totally makes sense for dwarves, given that they tend to be the machinists. All right, Haranian Alliance. We have the Harani. Oh, and I remember we didn't look at the male dwarf. This is nice. Looks like he actually walked out of Lord of the Rings. Everything is proportionate, which is not normal for dwarves in any game. So I do like this. All right, back to the Harani, the male. Racial skills are jungle tamers. Mm -hmm. Decreases the time required for logging trees and gathering herbs. And then explosive expertise that increases ship tank cannon damage. That could come in handy. Next, we have the feline race, the furin, I believe is how you pronounce it. If that isn't how you pronounce it, I'm going to pronounce it like that anyway because it only makes sense <laughs> for them to be called the furin. Their racial skills are strong claws so that you can climb trees and ladders more quickly and you have faster move speed. Makes sense given that they're felines. <laughs> Hashtag Captain Obvious. And they have cat-like reflexes that negate falling damage for five minutes. Here is the female furin. 
And last but not least, we have the Warborn. And this is probably what I'm going to create here. I've already created a furin because I messed with this a little bit earlier. And I really enjoyed it. You can see my video on the character creation for the furin. She looks like an ice queen. I love it. Okay. But we're probably going to create a Warborn. So their racial skills are Ravager. There's a Ravager form. And only level 30 plus Warborn can learn the skill. So it looks like Dwarves and Warborn get forms. And their other racial skill is Brute Strength, which increases move speed while carrying trade packs. Hmm. And here is the male Warborn. He looks terrifying. These kind of look like tieflings, yeah? Okay, we're probably going to go with the Warborn here. Let's look at the classes. All right, we have six classes here. We just saw the animation for sorcery. That's pretty cool. The ancient archmage Aranzeb symbolizes sorcery. You get magic attack skills and debuffs. This has a pretty high control difficulty. But man, does it look cool. Let's look at Battle Rage. I am super enjoying these skill previews. How about you guys? Skill set is symbolized by Kyrios, the god of destruction. Oh, and I love that outfit. I don't usually like to play these types of characters, but I might have to... Obviously, physical attack, dedicated to melee combat, focuses on closing their distance to their enemy and inflicting maximum damage upon arrival. I just love that outfit. Archery. Now, how are you going to protect yourself with that little amount of armor? Your stomach is wide open. Okay, so pretty low difficulty, I'd say about medium. Obviously, it's ranged attacks. Charged bolt, steady shooting, snipe. I do like that, that bow. Vitalism. Obviously, this is going to be your support group. It is expert difficulty. We will not be doing that. I am one of those people who does not like to have that kind of responsibility. <laughs> Optimized for combat support. Vitalism was designed for experienced users who can nimbly switch between different weapons for attacking and healing. I like the outfit though. That's really cool. Male Diction. This is a class I've never heard of before. Orchidna, the Demon Queen. I do like that outfit, though. Expert difficulty, which, oddly enough, I when I created my Fern character, I made her a male diction. <laughs> so, because I wasn't, at the time, paying attention to the difficulty of the classes. So that's going to be fun, but man, I do like this outfit. Bend dark magic for their own benefit. And last but not least, the Swift Blade. Looks like they came right out of Greedfall. Who's played that new game? Expert difficulty as well. So it looks like all the classes on the bottom here are expert difficulty. I kind of like this outfit though. Oh, it's different. She looks like a pirate. Hmm. You know, we'll go we'll go with expert difficulty characters, I think. We're gonna make we're gonna make her a swift blade. I like it. Alright. Ooh. I 
I do love the character creation in this game so far. I have a character like this in Final Fantasy too. I love when they can have horns. The question is, which horn do we want? I think I like this preset here. Let's look at her hair. We're gonna have to fix those eyes though. She looks high. I kind of like that hair. I kind of wish they had that hair for the furrin. They didn't have that hair for the furrin. Kind of like that. I do like this preset though. This hair is probably my favorite out of all of them. This one's nice too though. basic hair color. I'm kind of wanting it to all be dark. Like that. We might change her hair eventually. Those horns aren't bad either. Ooh, yes. Yes. Let's fix these eyes. I want one where the upper eyelid looks like it's at least somewhat open. Give her more of an angle. Open the upper eyelid up just a little more. Shadow. I'm not sure what that's doing, probably because she doesn't have any eyeshadow yet. I like them to be a little more realistic. Noses aren't realistically so small and narrow. That's a little more realistic. Make the mouth just a little smaller. A little further. Perfect. We're not going to give her any mouth openness. Okay. Head. That's just the size of it. Ooh, a little boxy looks nice. I kind of like that. I'll do a little boxy. 
won't change the size, but I will change the chin length. Make it a little shorter. Skin. I kind of liked the purple. The purple skin. Ooh, or blue. <gasps> Maybe. Is she a mermaid or a demon? I do not know. That purple is purple, though. Can make her gold. red. You can make her look so red, oh my gosh. That's interesting. I want to give her really defined eyebrows. I want her to look devillion. We're probably going to change the hair, by the way. Ooh, gadgets? See, there are gadgets in the eyes. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll make them green. Give her jade eyes. Style. Okay, this is makeup. <gasps> yes. By the way, all of the appearance sets are different for each race. So the fern race is very different makeup choices. Well, that's creepy. I think I like, oh, which one was it? That one. She's very purple. do like that, but then you can't see the makeup. Mm. Ooh. I like that. Oh, this is body imperfections. back to hair here.
question is, do we like this? I think I like the backwards one a little better now. Ooh, I like that. looks like, dare I say it, the warborn version of Xena the warrior princess. Okay, I said it. All right. All right, everybody, that's character creation in our gauge. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on some gameplay. I don't know if I'm going to play this character or my Furon, but if you do want to see my Furon character creation, take a look at my other video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.